train of late. Uh, it's, uh, that's it. I used, to, I used to come in here with uh, a list of names in the that report, but I thought the um, uh, first thing you could see how, first of all, I'm, I'm proud of the seniors to send those guys out as, uh, as uh, winners on the senior day. I think we've had three straight uh, senior days that we've, we have uh, three straight years we've sent our seniors out as winners, which is important. Before that, I don't know if we had many. I know um, in my day we didn't have many. That, uh, I know the schedule was a little bit different. We had Florida and Tennessee every, every year, but last year we had Tennessee also. So um, we got a chance to send three straight senior classes out as winners. Um, so we did a good job on third down for offense, defense, um, both sides of the ball. We won the line of scrimmage, which is important. They put the ball on the ground one time uh, going in, but the defense uh, actually uh, created a, uh, a turnover and scooped and scored. So um, that was, that was uh, getting it back for us. So um, a lot of, you know, one of the things you see is a lot of young kids making plays, you know. Um, and uh, I thought we, we look a lot fresher, you know. I mean, you're talking about going through the, um, 10 straight weeks as a grind. And having an open week, getting the guys' you know, legs back underneath them, getting them back mentally. Um, you have, when you're playing a young young team, it can be even more of a grind uh, on those guys. So I thought you know, having a week off definitely helped. Um, and, uh, you, know, you, you could see it look a little bit faster. Um, we didn't make as many mistakes. Uh, I thought the quarterbacks both had command of the football. Jalen Whitlow and Toll, so I thought those guys played real well. Awesome. Joker, your emotions to your players carrying off the field? Um, uh, uh, really, yes, it's true. I didn't really have it. You know, I really did. I really did. I really did. I really did. Numb to all this. You know, I'm sure I'm pretty numb to all of this. Understand it. Um, but it's, it's, it's a, a numbing feeling that you, you know, just you realize it's, it's, it's time to go. You know, it's time to go, and I understand that. Very seldom do you get 10 years at a place. Uh, and, you know, uh, we've, we've had, it's been a, uh, you know, the 10 years have been, uh, seems like, it seems like it's longer than that, but it also, it's, it's been a grind for me. Yeah, it's, it's been a grind for me. You know, when I can remember when I first got back, um, you know, I was really the only guy who knew the area and uh, knew This program and knew um, the people around here. I, I, mean, I can remember the first maybe three weeks uh, we were trying to get ready to, to go out on the road to recruit because it was a dead period. <laughs> and I can remember um, Tony Neely talk, talk, coming in the office and I'm shaking. I was that tired. I'm never exhausted. I was just I was shaking, you know, because I was I was worn out, burning, you know. I day trying to get us to get us playing. So I'm tired. I'm tired about that. I did, I did, it, I did it for 10 years. Uh, so I'm, I'm tired also. So, um, so I'm a little bit numb to this, this whole, whole thing. So, but, uh, you know, and then somebody asks, what are you going to do? I'm probably going to sleep. <laughs> so sleep, you know, uh, first of all. Um, you know, so we poured our all into this, my wife and I did. And, you know, um, you know, uh, but we appreciate everything that, that all the things that we were, uh, all the, uh, you know, we appreciate, uh, you know, all the, the parents trusting in us. We, we appreciate the, all the opportunities we got. Uh, we appreciate all the things that we got to do. Okay, uh, we probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have um, ever taken a trip to Ethiopia to take some of our kids had it not been for Jason and, and Mitch Barnhart, you know, suggesting those things to give our kids an opportunity. I got, I got to do a lot of things in this. This last ten years, and it's been it's been uh, rewarding. Uh, I uh, remember when we were going over the second time. I said, "You know what, Jason? I probably I thought about not going to Ethiopia." You know, um, and I said that we, we created we created uh, Jeremy Jarman's position. 
So maybe we should send Jeremy. But then when I got there, I said I wouldn't, I would not want to miss the opportunity to see Larry Warford's face, you know, as he's uh, in one of the mud huts. And you know, I, I wouldn't want to miss that opportunity. So uh, we've had some great experiences here, and uh, you know, but it's time to go. It is. It's time to go after 10 years, you know, of doing doing what we've done. I mean, we've we've, we've, we've done a lot of good things, and but it's been a grind on us also. Um, I was telling our team, um, you know, I, I had an experience when I went to, you know, to play with Washington Redskins that I walked out of the locker room and there's nobody there to greet me. After. There was no friends, no family, because I was in an unfamiliar I mean, my family didn't, didn't come to see me play. And I mentioned it to my wife, and she vouched that she did not want any of our players to come out of the locker room and not have anybody be greeted. So she's out there now greeting. I said, why did you do it? She says, because she loved the kid. And I think that's important. Um, we've done this thing the right way. Um, and you know, we've, we've been to, um, done a lot of things here. We've in the eight straight, well, eight bowl games, rather, out of the 15. None of them have asterisks beside them. Okay. None of them have asterisks beside them. Okay. And that's important to me. Um, uh, another thing that I told our team that, that I was proud of is, you know, we, we get the seniors up. We start a lot of traditions. This second time I came here, came back here, and I had a chance to go to, to some other places and saw different traditions to there, but I didn't think we had traditions when I came back, you know. Um, so we started a lot of traditions, and we started a tradition of, of letting, getting our seniors up and letting them talk about their experience on their last last game here, here at Kentucky, and then we'll do it at last game of their career. And a couple of our guys stood up and says, this is the first staff they've ever been on that from top to bottom, the staff has character, and the staff cares about it. They hit me. That's what this thing is about. To me. Might not be that to anybody else, but if that's what it's about to me. And I want to put together that type of staff that, that cares about the players. There's one I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Jumper, over the, over the last two weeks, how big a help has your wife been to you? Big, but I, I, you know, I've tried to help her. You know, I've tried to help her. You know, my, my life will, um, you know, when we go into a, a different job, you know, as a coach, coaches, the, the coach's life is ready made. It's already made. My friends are going to be the guys I work with. Okay, um, she'll figure out where we go, where, which dentist we use and which dry clean. She has to do all of this. She has to create new friends. Um, so I'm just trying to help her more. Than, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't need help. I've, I've done this before. Um, and she's done it before, too, but I think it's important to help her more than me. Um, my life's going to be ready made. She's going to pack her, uh, pack up, create new friends, um, find out where we're going to live at, and, you know, do all those type of things. So I'm trying to help her through this process. With the Kentucky your players, seniors, I mean, standing up and saying stuff, or any of them, they say anything, you know, that really touched you, that really stood out more than anything? All of it touches you. All of it touches you. Because it's such an emotional time. This is a game of emotion. It is. I mean, and you get to see some of those emotions come out uh, when you know, kids get ready to play his last game. They don't, uh, or many of them will, will um, it's definitely a last game here. Many of them only have uh, one game left that they have put a uniform on. Now, a lot of them think different, but some of them in the back of the mind know it's probably going to be it. So, I mean, a lot of different emotions come out. Trevor, you say you're numb, but you know, being carried off, getting to celebrate a win with those guys in the locker room tonight, are you, because of that, are you glad you came back for these last two? I'm glad I was able to experience that with the seniors, experience it with the seniors, yes. Does it mean as much anymore having a chance to keep Tennessee two years in a row? I mean, I mean, you know, he, when I came here in '81, it was, you know, it, it was a big rival then, you know. Uh, so it means more to me than, than maybe somebody in, in today's football because the 
just getting here because uh, uh, it was one of our goals. As, as a, it was one of our program goals. Um, so it's still still one of those for me. Um, we made that when I took over. It's one of our program goals, uh, and um, you know that's that's why it's important to me. You know? And then again, again, we want to finish this thing out um, strong and. Uh, when, when the last two, give the seniors a chance to go out the right way. You have a routine, I'm sure, of game day routine. Mm -hmm. But when you were going through those things today, did, that you were numb to that whole thing? Nothing ever hit you? You kind of paused no. for a minute? No, I didn't. I was, uh, you know what? I just didn't realize I had packed my black suit. I was like, man, it's not like I'm going to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it's all the same. Again, um, we'll work again. Um, we feel com comfortable and confident of, that we will. So, um, again, uh, uh, but this is home. it is, but um, what's the girl's name that left Kansas? Dorothy. You, you, <laughs> 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 you, know, um, you get to come back. You know, you get to come back. I mean, that's the, you know, the world has shrunk now. You know, since the internet, with cell phones, um, I'll stay in close contact with friends. Um, last time I got, to, I had to leave. I came back to play. You know, to, to, to compete against, um, and that's always fun. Also, um, you know, we uh, we're looking forward to, to the next uh, um, you know, to what's next. Could you imagine a scenario when you come back here as an assistant again? I mean, it's that's hard to you know. I am not no spring chicken, you know. I'm not, you know. I'm, I'm 50 years old. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I like to think I'm a young 50, um, but um, you know, but um, this game is, is going, you know, uh, it's going fast for me. Um, and uh, who, who knows though? But uh, I just think it's at this point it's hard to say anything like that. Last question. Say by name, but say it again. I know you can't say any names, but what have you said to recruits and what have they said to you that have committed to the to you, UK? You know, um, I really hadn't, um, I had a chance to talk to one today, and you know, I just told him, this is a place for him. You know, be proud to put this UK on, this interlocking UK on, and I expect him to, to represent the right way. That's the only thing I said to him. I, I just don't, didn't think it was right for, you know, to, for me to use the call. Um, that uh, our administration or, or uh, 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 would want to make on some of the recruits. Um, but if they called me, I would answer. I missed a couple because of our, uh, you know, our schedule. But uh, and I did get a chance to talk to one. And the one thing I was telling them is, hey, this is the right place for you. Right? It's, it's, it's a good place. You'll be surrounded by some really, really, really good players. You got a chance to see them, see some of them tonight. This is, this is the right place. You know, you chose this place for a reason. You didn't choose this for, for us, you know, or for, for coaches. You choose the place because this is because of the players, okay, the support people. Those are the people. That's the reason why you choose the place, not, not for the coaches. <laughs>